Hey guys, MGH here and welcome back to my FIFA 13 career mode with Arsenal and we have a game against QPR and uh, oh by the way that reminds me a good friend of mine Cal Freezy is doing a FIFA 13 career mode with QPR so if you want to go check him out he is in the description he did give me a little shout out the other day in his video which by the way I didn't ask for he was just very kind enough to do that so I want to return the favour uh, he's doing a really good job with his uh, career mode his first one so definitely go check that out in the description and Fellaini what a beast holy crap Fellaini is so good and then I pass it on to Santi Cazorla, who's not going to miss from there. His left foot is just... He punishes teams day in, day out. Look at this. No touch required. Just smash it across Julio Cesar. Absolutely no chance there. I'm sorry, my friend. But 1-0 up in 15 minutes. That's always good. Podolski comes close here to adding a second. But um, it wasn't to be. Podolski seems to cut in quite a lot there. But it was just bending away from a goal. It was always going to bend away there. Uh, I don't know why. The physics of the ball just kind of... Uh, didn't, didn't do what I wanted to do, I guess. But we were controlling this game, to be, to be honest. QPR aren't exactly... Um, I don't know. I don't want to say they're bad. They're actually got, they've got a pretty nice team in FIFA. They're obviously struggling in real life a little bit. And look at this for a finish. Wow. Kozola with his second goal of the game. But QPR are definitely struggling in real life, despite all of these players they've brought in. You know, Julio Cesar. They've got uh, Mbaio. I don't know how you say his name. Mbaio, I think it is, in defence. But anyway, we're going at half-time. 2-0 up. Santi Kozola with both goals. Spanish magician or what? Uh, anyway, I want to clear something up really quick. In the uh, the last episode, guys, we had that kind of, you know, in my PS3 froze two, uh, two matches ago uh, against Brighton in the Capital One Cup. Because it froze, and then when I loaded up my career mode again, uh, it said that I had forfeited the game and lost 3-0. Uh, I accidentally said that I was out of the FA Cup in that match, and some people were a bit confused. I'm out of the Capital One Cup, not the FA Cup. Uh, so I just wanted to clear that up. It's, I'm still in the FA Cup. There is a match coming up soon, I believe, in the next few episodes. So you guys will see that. And uh, that was a pretty good game. It finished 2-0. Not too much happened in the second half, unfortunately. But still, three points is all we need. And we move on strongly into a game in the Champions Cup against Copenhagen. Who, which, by the way, that's how you pronounce it. I know it's not spelt like that. But it is Copenhagen, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. If you're Dutch or, sorry, Danish, isn't it? If you're Danish and I'm saying it wrong, please do let me know in the comments. And what a shot from Giroud there. He seems to be good when he's having his shots. But it's just getting him into those positions. And uh, I was just really struggling. And look at them. They hit the post here. In the 23rd minute, I was lucky not to be 1-0 down, but those were the only chances of the first half. It's always disappointing when games are like that. I feel like there's just nothing going on, and really, you, just, you should really adjust your, your formation, bring on a different player, maybe. And look at Kazula again, almost getting another goal. I think he's scored in every goal in uh, every game of the last four games, I think. So he's on a real streak at the moment, and the same with Podolski. Uh, Podolski did have a bit of a drought. He went without, I think it was six, goal, uh, six games without goals, which is pretty poor for a striker of his quality. But that's down to my, my, you know, it's my fault. You know, I kept putting him on as a sub and things like that. Because I was resting him for the big games against Man City, the Chelsea, all that kind of stuff. Um, but he did break that drought and he scored recently. And that is a great pass from Dialby. Unlucky not to get a goal from that. And we are moving on to the last few minutes of the game. And it was still nil-nil. And that is how it finished, unfortunately. I didn't have my strongest squad up. But I'm not going to blame that. I just didn't score a goal. It was poor. But then we got a squad report. And these are my youth squad players that I've already signed. And as you can see here, Richard Bateman... 69 to 83, is he really worth trying to sign on? I wasn't too sure, to be honest, so I, I kind of left it for a second and decided after looking at the other players. The other two have potentials of between 70 to 90, so I wanted to keep those. But Richard Bateman, up to 83, it's just not quite good enough for me, in my opinion. Not worth signing him on, so we decided to release him. And look at this, this popped up as well. Everton apparently are being attract are attracting rich people who uh, who might want to buy out the club. I thought that was pretty pretty cool. I hope I get that myself. It'd be pretty awesome to have 100 million to spend. But as you can see, we are at Old Trafford now. We're against Man United. I can't wait for this fixture in real life. We're not too far away. It's a couple of weeks away. And uh, I'm just wondering what Robin Van Persie's reception is going to be like, especially when he comes back to Emirates. Um, but anyway, as you can see there, I get myself a yellow card. It was a really, really poor challenge. I have been using Wilshere in a more defensive role lately. Um, and you know what? He does okay. I don't, I don't mind him there. I just think he, he's a bit clumsy sometimes. And you saw there with his yellow card giving away that free kick, which Nani completely skyrocketed. I think it was Nani. It might have been Valencia, actually. I'm not too sure. But that was a really poor pass here. But Podolski, being the poacher he is, manages to tackle uh, Ferdinand right in the last second there. And that's, uh, that's actually a very nice finish when you take a look at this replay. It wasn't the easiest of angles, that's for sure. But um, you know what, guys? If you make a mistake in the last pass, don't fear. Just keep running. You might actually win it back. And that is a perfect example of that. Ferdinand just very clumsy and, uh, like I said, tight angle. But he still manages to finish that off. And 1-0 up against our, 
uh, against Man United at Old Trafford is always a good result at half time. So I was pretty happy with myself at this point. But the second half, I don't, I don't know, it just kind of changed. I felt like I wasn't myself. I wasn't playing very well. Uh, we did get a chance with Giovini up the wing here. Evans just could not keep up with me. But look at that tackle there. And you can see Van Persie chests it down, knocks it into Nani. And he's not going to miss from there. 86 minutes in after keeping it at 1-0 for so long. I completely screw up some defending there. Van Persie, I'm not going to lie, quality player in this game and in real life. Sets up a great goal from Nani. It was a great pass from Rooney as well to split the defence. Um, I don't know why he was in so much space. I don't know why Sanya was more like playing in a central defence uh, role there. But what can I say? So that was one all. A little bit upsetting to throw, a, throw away a goal there. But we do get a last chance. Just not quite blocking it off the line. And Smalling gets, a, gets a, a nice easy chance to smash it out, I guess. A panic. And it finished one all. And Chesney there, he's okay. He's a bit upset that he let in that goal, I guess. But what can I say? It's just part of FIFA. You know, you win some, you lose some. And you draw some that are... Maybe games that you should have won. But anyway, we move on to the next game against Fulham. And there was something wrong with this game. I have no di no idea what it was. I was just absolute shit. It was late at night. I was playing this about 1 o'clock in the morning. So again, focus comes into play. And Rodiego goes straight through in the fourth minute there. Their first shot of the goal. And uh, of the game, sorry. And it goes in as a goal. Really poor defending. Look at Mertesacker. Bit of a mix-up with switching my players. I do try and block it with Mertesacker. He sticks out his daddy long leg. Um, but Sidwell is just... He's good. I, I, I've, I've got to be honest, guys. I've got him on ultimate team. Sipwell is a good player. He's got a great shot on him. And uh, I go 2-0 down at the Emirates against Fulham, which really is not good enough. By the way, I had Andre, Andre Santos in the first half as my left midfielder. He is pretty awesome there, but I do decide to take him off and bring on Podolski, I believe it is. Well, I needed to make a comeback, really, didn't I? 2-0 down at this point. I was really disappointed with that. And I bring on Podolski, like I said. Take it around the keeper, and that is a beautiful finish. And that is why Podolski should be in the squad. Uh, I'd be really upset if I lose Podolski. I really don't want to ever, ever lose him in this career mode because he's just absolutely amazing. But there we go. We got one goal back. It was 2-1. And I got very lucky here. I crossed it back uh, in, in. Well, I crossed it in from the corner and knock it into the box. And it was just an absolute cluster. F I think five players tried to tackle me from the Fulham team. And uh, the captain's complaining. I, rightly so, to be honest. I didn't really see it. I don't know why I got a penalty, but Podolski is never going to miss from here. Look at that. Although it was very poor from me. I didn't get it in the green zone on the penalty. I hit the yellow zone, which is never good. But luckily enough for me, his composure was greater than my, my negligence there. And look at that. So that made it 2-0. That's a great comeback, right? Oh, no. 81st minute. Poor defending. Where where are you, Jury? Where? Oh, my God. And Berbatov scores to make it 3-2, which is... Uh, it's disappointing to say the least because I don't know what it is, but when those kind of goals are scored, there's, it, there's not much you can do. I feel like I really couldn't do anything there. And it was just down to the uh, AI misplacing my defenders. And it wasn't over there. I was yet to be embarrassed even more. And look at the defending. It's just, it's, I, I don't even want to watch it. It's shocking. But Berbatov gets his, I believe, his second of the game, isn't it? So uh, well done to Berbatov. And then I get myself a goal back as well with Wilshere. But it was too little too late made it 4-3 it wasn't good enough and I lose the game so I dropped three points at home against Fulham which is uh is is really disappointing but moving into the last game of the video guys we have a Champions Cup game against Lille and as you can see there I'm second in the group at the moment on seven points we have two games to go and uh, I really need to get these three points if I wanted to almost solid solid solidify is the word I want to use uh, my place in the next round and I start off really well here 15 minutes in Podolski gets his, is that his sixth? I think it, oh yeah, it says there, his sixth goal of all competitions there. Um, like I said, he did have that drought, but um, he's definitely well and truly back into his fine form. That is a brilliant pass from Kazola, can I just say. He kind of slid on the slid on the ground and knocked it in with his, uh, his toes. And it went straight in front of Podolski, who made a great first touch. And he was never going to miss one-on-one -on -one there. And again, it's just one of these, it's when the defend, uh, when you're, when you're defending and they're just running at you. You, you have to guess. You either, you either go right or you either go left. And uh, I made the wrong decision to go right. He went right instead, so I went the wrong way. And he made a pass to Rue. Well, I think that's how you pronounce his name. And he scored his second goal against Arsenal of the, of the season, of the Champions Cup group stages, I should say. But Diaby gets another goal here. Another great header as well. He seems to be in those uh, great positions all the time when I'm crossing in. So it is 2-1 at the moment. And I was playing quite confidently. I was playing on ultra attacking at this point. No, no, like, player making a challenge on me there. Knock it into Santi Cazorla to score another goal in the Champions Cup, which is great for him. He seems to score in the in the Premier League absolutely no problem, but when it comes to Champions Cup, I just never seem to score with him. But that was a great finish, and that made it 3-1. Yeah, so this, uh, this episode starts off awfully. I'm just going to say that right now. Uh, we do have a, a home game against Tottenham here. You can see we're already in the 45th minute, and there has been no breakthrough yet. 
I could not do anything in this match. Tottenham are a solid team in FIFA. They really are. Defensively, they're an absolute rock with, like, you know, Vertonghen. Very strong. They've got um, Walker and the right back. As you can see, I've got Frimpong in midfield. Um, but it was 0-0 at half-time, but I, I, like, I was really struggling this match. I had a few players that I had on the pitch, which maybe I shouldn't have. You know, for example, there I had Ramsey and Giroud come off. And I brought on Fellaini and Podolski, who should really be starting matches like these. But they were, they were tired at the time. But look at this bullshit. Tottenham score. Okay, fair enough. Great attack. Great goal from Gareth Bale. Absolute perfect accuracy. But watch my keeper. Watch this. This is Chesney, right? Comes off the post. Fair enough. But watch what happens when he gets up. What is he doing? Why are you not, like, preparing yourself for a second shot? That's what keepers do, right? So, in my opinion, that is absolute bullshit. And I shouldn't be 1-0 down at this point. You know, I had plenty of chances to score myself. I just could not do one single thing. I mean... I think they had Lloris in goal, it wasn't Friedel, and it was just, it was beyond impossible. So, I was finding it very, very difficult to break through this defence and then actually score. Um, and being 1-0 down really didn't help, because then I started thinking, oh shit, I'm actually going to lose to Tottenham at home, which is really embarrassing. Obviously, Tottenham are Arsenal's bitter rivals, and uh, there you can see. That was a bitter loss. That was absolutely terrible. I was so disappointed. I really enjoy the challenge on career mode. It's definitely much harder this year around. To, uh, to beat teams on the similar level to you. Um, but maybe at times I think it can be a little bit too hard. I mean, look at this, right? This is just frustrating. So I get yellow card to start off with, Fellaini. It's fair enough. It wasn't the best of challenges. And uh, I will take that on the chin. But what it is, is I feel like when I'm attacking, I get fouled all the time. I get pushed off the ball very easily. I get insta-tackled. And uh, I, I get nothing for it. And Podolski shot going wide there. Um, and I get absolutely nothing for it. And I did the same in my end. I mean, watch this. Okay, this is a perfect example. Absolutely perfect tackle, right? Oh, no. No, no. The ref decides that that is an illegal tackle. Let's uh, let's take a look at what you think. Oh, okay. Yes. Send me off. Send me off for a challenge like that. Vermeulen is a quality player. Look at this tackle. Can someone tell me why that's a red card? I want to see this in slow motion and see why the referee is an absolute <laughs> Tell me what you think, guys, in the comments. Yes or no? Is this a red card? Like, really? Really? Red card for that? It's very frustrating. So they get a penalty, Ben steps up, and he hits the post. That's karma for you. You know what? I mean, I would have taken the... I would have said, um, if, they gave me a, if they gave them a penalty for that challenge, I would have gone, right, okay, it's a little bit unfair, but whatever. But the fact it was a red card, when I clearly didn't go from behind, I didn't take his legs out, I clearly got the ball. I don't know. I, I feel very hard done by, so I was lucky not to concede that penalty. And look at that. That is such an important goal. I mean, I was raging so hard when I got that red card. I was so happy to, uh, to score this. It was very lucky. It came off my hand, I think. And uh, Fellaini really pulling me out of a ditch right there. So we're 1-0 up. We get, us, we get ourselves a corner. Santi Cazorla is going to take this. And there is no better player in my squad to do what, the, what just happened there. Fellaini is always going to win those headers against someone like... I don't know. I think it might have been Delph marking him. Which is uh, a complete mismatch, seeing as Fellaini is 18 foot 6. <laughs> he is an absolute giant. His afro just makes him look even taller. And he climbs to make that. And he's on a hat-trick member, so I thought I'm going to get lucky here and have a shot. And look at that. What a finish from Fellaini. He is not exactly the most nimble player in the Premiership, is he? But tell you what, he can run and hit a shot. And that is an absolutely fantastic goal. So with 10 men, we've made it 3-0. A hat-trick from Fellaini. Absolute bargain he was. I'm so glad I went for him over Kabai. Kabai would have been a great option, but I needed someone like Fellaini in midfield. I really like the... The uh, height he gives me and the strength. It's really, really nice. I think Arsenal might need that in real life at some point. Because uh, as you saw at the weekend, we win we win 3-0, by the way. Uh, as you saw the weekend with Arsenal against uh, Chelsea, we obviously uh, lost to DRB straight away at the start of the match. He got injured. As soon as he went off the pitch, we started being out-muscled in midfield. And we were just not as dominant as we would have been with DRB. I think someone like Fellaini would be great. And I've heard that Fellaini will be leaving at the end of, this, end of the season with Everton. So um, we'll soon find out. I'm sure Wenger's uh, looking at him pretty closely. So you can see there, Podolski gets a shot off. And uh, Tim Howard is just a beast on this game, like he was in FIFA 12. And it wasn't going to go past him. Get a cross in there with Fellaini against his older club. And it actually said at the start of this match, oh, this player is gonna... it's his first match against his old club. Which I think is pretty cool. It's pretty detailed, this game. I like little things like that. But it was 0-0 all the way to the second half. Again, it was just one of those matches where the keeper was really good. The defence was absolutely impossible to break through. You know, and the odd time I did break through, the keeper saved it, of course. Like, there as a good example. And, um, again, just really struggling to score. A little bit of a, a lapse in concentration in defence there. 
And Morales goes through and score. 87 minutes in after a whole game of me, I wouldn't say dominating the match, but definitely having most of the chances, the better chances at that. Morales just runs up the pitch and he finishes a shot which really I thought I was going to tackle. Look at that. It was a perfect slide from Koscielny. I had Mertesacker this game, by the way. Um, but that wasn't to be. I was always going to concede in that 87th minute, wasn't I? And I lose another game in the Premiership. But anyway, we've got a squad update there. Both of the players in my youth squad have uh, had their potential refined. They're both between 70 and 84, I think it was-ish. So um, two very good players on their way. I would take someone who gets to around 85 or so. Anything under that, and I'll be uh, probably a bit reluctant to sign him. There you can see they got very close. Graham there with a great miss, actually. A great miss for me. And then I, I, might, I myself fail absolutely there. A tramp goal. I thought I could pass it across to Walcott and just make an easy finish. Because at the moment, at this point in time, I was, I was really, really just hoping for any sort of point. Seeing as I lost two, two games in three, which is really disappointing. And uh, that wasn't to be either. But Podolski runs up the pitch. He is my saviour. His goal drought was maybe, what, six games? And ever since then, he has been on fire. And in 43rd minutes, an easy finish really. When you get up to 1v1s with a keeper, some people say don't finesse it on this game. But sometimes I think in situations like that, if you open up your body and go for the far corner, you're more than likely going to score that goal, especially with someone as good as Podolski. And now we're in the 80th minute. Get myself a free kick here. Can I just say the advantages seem to last forever in this game, uh, especially online. That can be a bit frustrating, which I, know, I really do want to play some more online. I haven't had a chance. But Kozula with a quite light free kick, really, pulling out a save from uh, Michel Vorm, which was okay, you know, it wasn't that wasn't a bad free kick. And at this point, I was just really defending hard and maybe going up on the on the counter attack, trying to score that that second goal to give me a two goal cushion. And you can see there, I've had eight shots this game, only one has gone in. That shows you it's a bit it's a bit difficult to score in this game. <laughs> um, but it wasn't to be. I wasn't going to get another goal, but the game did stay one nil, and I get myself some. Very important three points right there. We're going to be doing a little bit of live commentary over this one. And we've got a game against Valencia coming up. So what I want to do is I want to show you... That's not the right place. We want to go to Season Stats, Club, Competitions, and the Champions Cup. Because that's the one we've got now. And we're going to take a look at my group. I believe this is the last the last game in the group stage. Let's take a look here. Go right again. Here we are. Uh, yeah, last game. So we play a total of six because there's uh, three teams that I've got to play twice. And so far we are on top of the uh, the group, but if I lose this match, I can quite easily not be uh, not be promote or not go through to the next rounds. But I've won three, drawn one, and lost one, so I am doing pretty well, I guess. Uh, obviously, I lost against Lille at the start, which was a really bad game. But I'm hoping to break the trend because I've lost a few league games late, uh, lately as well. So um, let's go and do next match. And now you can see my team. I am playing in a 4-2-3-1. With Wilshire and Diaby in those defensive midfield positions, Santi Cazorla on the right, by the way, Fellaini in the middle, Giovini on the left, and Podolski up front. Right, here we go, we're on the break. Up you go, Podolski. I love that outside of the foot pass. Podolski's on the run. Anyone making any space? Uh, let's cross this one into the back post. Perfect. Oh my god. Go on. Yes, there we go. Goal already, seventh minute. Fellaini's sixth goal. I like that way it's I like the way it's popped up. That's pretty awesome. And uh, Podolski and I don't know who the other, I think it was Kozula was doing the same celebration there. Very, very, very good block from the defender at the start there, but I was always going to finish up there. 1 0, guys. All right, let's see if we can break here. Try and get Podolski in. No, they've closed me over there. Let's get Jovini up here a bit. Come back. And back again. Come on, son. Knock it up. No, I've got to outrun it. No, 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 no. Oh, keep that in. Come on, Jovino. Yes, son. Let's get a cross in now. Oh, that's a good cross. Oh, Fellaini. Oh, unlucky. See, I'm playing Fellaini in that central attacking role. It's so good because he's so strong. Wins all those headers. Cazorla's perfect on the right as well. He whips those cross in, crosses in. And uh, Diaby in the middle with um, with Wilshire seems to be pretty balanced right now. You can see I've easily won that back. Any runs going on? No. Here we go. I'm going to have a shot. Bang. Ooh, not too bad. Pulled off a save. Very nice. Right, that is half time, guys. Not so bad, you know. Pretty good first half for me. Obviously, we got the goal straight away, which really kind of made me relax, you know. These games are definitely tougher than Premier League games. That's what i found so far. Let's have a look at some of these other results. Uh, Leo and Copenhagen, who are at the top there, they're obviously in my group. They are drawing 0-0, so that is a good result for me so far. So let's hope they can uh, they can continue and draw this game. That'd be really handy. God, this guy's quick. He is so quick. I can't catch up with him. Right, Wilshire, your turn, son. Come on. Get your ass back. Oh, what a challenge. 
What a tackle. Holy crap, he's good. And now I can break. Look at this. We're on the counter. DRB into Podolski. Through to Wilshaw. Up to Gibbs. Cut inside. Cross over to Podolski. Head it. Oh, that's a good header. Unlucky there. And the keeper has had to make a diving save. Right, I think it's time to make some substitutions. I'm pretty sure some of my players will be getting tired. Yep, as you can see, Kazola is knackered already. We're going to bung... Oh, I didn't mean to do Walker. I meant uh, Oxlade there. Let's put Walk uh, Oxlade back on. Uh, Diaby is going to come off. I'm going to put Art... Oh, I did it again. We'll put Ramsey on. And uh, take off Arteta. Um, I will, I'll put... We'll put Arteta on, actually, like this. And then we will swap for Laney for... Ramsey, because Ramsey is not very good in that defensive position I found, so that's uh, that should be all right. Here's the big man again. Oh my god, the, look at him! <laughs> He's overpowered, man. Let's get cross in. That's a good cross as well. Ramsey. Oh my god, terrible header. Oh shit. Two versus one. Oh no. Oh my god, what a tackle from Aylin! I could kiss you right now. Oh my god, that was that was literally last stitch. Yes, there we go, guys. Looks like I am through. I got the three points. Fellaini, man of the match, surely. Let's have a look. He's got to be. Fellaini, there you go. 9.2. Easily man of the match. There we go, guys. Let's move on. Season stats, club competitions, Champions Cup. Tournament tree. We should be in the uh, the not like the knockout stages now. Yep, as you can see. Oh my god, bottom right. <laughs> We've got PSG. That is going to be one hell of a match. Right, so we have a match against West Brom. It's going to be a tough match. And I can see here some of my players are a little bit tired. So what I'm going to do is my usual trick. Press square and you're going to see these uh, arrows come up. That means that they are thinking of players to play in these positions. And we'll see what kind of team it, it gives us. And we might even roll with it. So Chesney and Gar I'll keep. Um, Koscielny, I might give him a rest. We might give Juru a go maybe. Um... Yeah, let's give Giro a go. Why not? And then we've got Wilshire again in midfield. I don't think I want to play... Yeah, we'll go with Wilshire. We'll take Santi Cazorla off. We'll give him a rest. And we will play... Who shall we play there? We're going to play Henri because I'm feeling I'm feeling good today. So Santos is having a chance at left back. We've got Mertesacker and Giro as my centre-backs. Wilshire and Ramsey playing in that CDM role. Could be right. Walcott, Henri, Oxlade and Giroud. Uh, I'm not sure I like Ramsey in that position, so what I'm going to do is maybe Frimpong. We could give him a go. Or... Ah, it's difficult. Yeah, we're going to give Frimpong a go. We'll take off Fellaini, give him a proper rest, and then we'll put Frimpong there. Let's do this. Right, let's counter. Oxlade, go. Giroud, make a run. Oh my god, Giroud, where are you, man? This is why I don't play Giroud. He doesn't seem to be active, you know, he's so... Oh, we won it. Here we go. Giroud, change my thoughts. Come on. Let's have a goal. Left foot. I mean, left side. That was a good save, actually. Let's get a nice cross with Walcott here. Oh, that's good. Giroud. Oh, no. Oh. Right, out to the wing. Go. Yes, here we go. Here we go. Oxlade. Right foot finesse shot. Oh, he's blocked it. God damn it. Let's get another corner going, though. So a better cross this time. A little bit less power. That's perfect. Go on. Go on. Go on again. Okay, we're going to keep that in. Henri, no. Is that a foul? I think Giroud's pushed his man. Yep, unlucky there. Henri. Oh, my God. Henri. Oh, my God. He may have gone down by three overall points, but holy shit, he can still finish in this game. Let's take a look at this replay. I had a little cross in with Walcott straight to Giroud, who kind of got behind the defender there. But Henri was on hand. Look at that finish. That is absolutely beautiful. 1-0. Right, Ox on the wing. Let's try and get past this defence. They're very difficult to break down, West Brom. Uh, into uh, Wilshire. Frimpong. Oh, Walcott. Left foot. Bang. No way. Run, Chamberlain. Run. It's what you're best at. Let's go, 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 go. Anyone's making a run. Giroud again, maybe. Go on. Oh, unlucky. Let's make a substitution while we can. I'm pretty sure Henri is going to be exhausted. <laughs> we'll share. Let's give him a break. We'll put Ramsey on and then put Ramsey in that cam position and take Henri off. We're going to put... Um, we'll put DRB on for the rest of this game. We'll also take Walker off and put Podolski on. But um, we're going to... I think we'll leave Giroud on. I reckon I can get another goal of him. We've got a free kick here anyway. Here we go. Let's just smash this. No way. 
Oh my god, I almost scored it. Wow. Right, Podolski on the right wing. This is where he's powerful. Oh my god, he's kept it. He's kept it. Cut inside. Left foot. Bad. Oh my god, that's a free kick. No way, ref. Come on. Are you blind? He must be. Oh, that is great. Here we go, Chamberlain. Up to Ramsey. He's offside, I think. No, he's not. We're still going. I'm going to have a shot. That was a tight angle, but I still managed to get it on target. Let's get a header in. That's good defending from Pong. He's been pretty good, you know. Quick on the ball. Nice pass there. Good touch from DRV. Through pass. There he goes, Ramsey. Rabona cross. Oh, he didn't do it. Oh, my God. Giroud almost got his head on that as well. That would be great an end to this game. Um, but I think the ref is going to blow his whistle. There we go, guys. Another three points in the bag. That wasn't easy. Uh, well, it wasn't one of the easiest games ever, but there you go. Henri getting a goal as well, which is always good. Frimpong, man of the match. Nicely done, mate. Nicely done. Right, we just got an email about potential international management jobs. They're saying Paraguay and Peru could be offering me a contract very soon. I won't be taking anything from them because uh, I don't plan to do anything international-wise until next season. I wanted to use this, this season to warm up, get used to the FIFA career mode, and make sure I, I do my, uh, my objectives proud, I guess. And that's what I'm doing so far. You know, you can see that I'm in sixth position right now, which isn't too bad considering I had a few losses. But I'm still I'm on my way up to the top four, which is what I want. And I'm doing well in the Champions Cup as well, which is great. Here we've got a, a monthly scouting update. Let's take a look at these players. Uh, potential up to 87, 75, not good enough, son. 91, 82, you're not good enough, son. 74, you're not good enough. 90, wow. Up to 87, up to 89, and he has gone. Um, are any of these players that I want to sign now? Any 16-year-olds that have great potential? See, this guy, at the moment, he's only 45 to 59, so he's going to be a slow-growth player. So um, we'll, we'll, we'll just scout them further for now. Attention, MGH. No team can survive without a quality defence. F*** off. Don't tell me how to manage. I have moved down to 8th in the league because other, play other teams have had their games already, so don't worry, guys. My game is now against Reading who are 19th in the league, so technically I could have simmed this match, but I don't want to sim any matches this season. Um, I don't really want to sim matches in general, to be honest. I'm quite happy with this team, although it's not going to be a difficult match, so let's play some other players and give, uh, like, Kazola a rest, for example. Uh, we'll take off Fellaini as well. I want him for the uh, the game coming up soon. We'll put Walcott on. We'll put Giroud up again as well. We want to keep Podolski off the bench. On the bench, sorry. Um, Wilshere, let's rest him as well and put Mikel Arteta... Oh, we've got a massive break going on here. Oh, it's up to Walcott. Look at all this space. Look at this space. Get across in for Giroud. Go, oh, that's easy. Go on. Oh, go on, rebound. No way. Right, Ramsey. Safe and easy cross here. Come on. Okay, we'll take the corner. That's not too bad. The defence is just so quick to get you off from crossing in. It's definitely harder to cross these days. And uh, that is not bad. Come on, Vermeulen. Oh, <laughs> what a goal that would have been on the term. Keep that one in. Here's Mikel Arteta. See if we can get a shot away of him. Oh, my God. Tackled instantly. God damn it. No. Defend, Matt. Defend, defend, defend. Whoa. That was a little bit close for my liking. Over top for Giroud. This is perfect. Right. Go, Walcott. Use that pace. Oh, that was such a shit first touch. What the hell was that? All right. We've won it back. Go, 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 go. Cut inside. No. Q. Q. Defense. Good header. We won it back, though. Wow. It's constant winning back. Oh my god, Giroud, you're so slow on the ball, it's horrible. Oh no, defend Matt, no. Oh my god, what happened there? What the f*** happened there? Holy shit. Oh man, that wasn't the best of defend defending right there. Tab has gone through my defence like they weren't even there. Let's take a look at this replay, it was a... Sp look at that. I bumped into the defence there. I mean, uh, the attackers with my defence. God damn it. A little bit unlucky, but we'll get one back, I'm sure. Right, that is half time. I'm not happy. I'm finding this game really difficult. Reading are just all over me at the moment. Over top for Javinho. That's a good pass. That is a good pass from Koscielny right there. Right, I'm going to have to cut back here. Nowhere to go. I just hadn't, I've got nowhere to go. But we've got a corner. That's all right. We'll take that. Let's see if we can get it on the head of Giroud here. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, Javinho. Oh, I see some space. Go, 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 go. He's got it. He's got it. Cross it. It's good cross. Are you shitting me? Arteta, oh, man. Look at all the space he's got. Oh, my God. What a goal that would have been. I'm <laughs> a little bit disappointed with that. I can't lie. Maybe Santi Cazula would have put that one in. Good tackle, son. Over to Walcott. 
Let's get across in again. Go on. Oh, Giroud, man. I'm going to have to sub him off in a minute. I'm just not... Like, he just doesn't make anything happen. As soon as I put the Pazolski on, I bet I'll score. Right. Last attack without Giroud, with Giroud, maybe. I just don't like him. I think I have to sell him. Right. Got the ball back again now. That's good. Here's Giroud. I mean, just look at us. Look at... Oh, my God. He's just shit. I can't stand him on this game. Like, in real life, I'm sure he's going to do okay eventually. But, God damn, he's just so slow. Podolski again. Oh, my God. I'm not getting any luck in this match whatsoever. My my accuracy of passes has been all off. That's right, we've won it back in the field. That's good. That's good as well. Kazola cutting. No! No, 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 no. Instant tackle sucks. I hate it. I hate those tackles. Oh, good tackle, Diaby. Here we go. Oh, my God, you're kidding me. God damn it, right. Here we go. Last chance saloon, guys. I can only get one point, really. Let's see if we can get it. I really want that one point. Do wonders for me. Into Flaney. Come on, turn the defence. That's it. Left foot. Go on. Are you shitting me? This keep... Oh, I hate the keepers in this game. My God, they are overpowered. <laughs> and um, another yellow card for Koscielny this season. Just another late challenge, you know. I should have pulled out, really, but that was that was terrible. Let's get a good crossing with Kozula here. Oh, that's nice. And it's way over. We've got another one? No, nope, we lose. Reading has beaten Arsenal. There we go. That was an absolute terrible match. I played like absolute shit. Let's take a look how many saves the keeper made. Five. Come on. Bullshit. Right, guys, we've got a game against Wigan now. We are away to Wigan, and I'm in eighth position at the moment. 30 points. I can't believe I've lost five games so far. It's absolutely diabolical form right now, so I need to get uh, three points from this game. Absolutely must. Uh, otherwise, I can see myself slipping to mid-table. I'm really not having a good time. So let's um, let's see if we can get an instant goal here. Come on, over the top for Podolski. He's in a team for Giroud. That is why he makes stuff happen. Whenever I put Giroud on, I just feel like... I'm always on the on like on the edge every time I attack. At least with Podolski, I feel like I can actually score. You know, but here he is again, getting involved over the top. That's a lovely little pass to uh, Oxlade Chamberlain. Cut back here. Oh my God, keep it. There we go. We've got Santos playing as well. His Fellaini. Nice to have him back. I missed him last game, I think. Podolski, here we go. Oh my God, that was not a good touch. And there I was licking his ass, and then he underperforms there. <laughs> Cut back again. Left foot finesse shot. Oh, it's beautiful. I love you, Chamberlain. Oh, my God. I really, really needed that. I, th I think it's just absolutely crystal clear to me. Every time I play with Giroud, I struggle. I really do. He just... he just. I, I know I keep going on about it, but it's just making me realise, you know, that is what I need to do in the uh, the January transfer window. I think I'm going to have to get rid of Giroud and bring in another striker. Um, you know, like a, a striker I can keep for when... Podolski is tired or injured. Just someone that's there. I'll play Podolski more because he's just insane on this game. It's good. Oh, man, if I could do a bicycle kick there. It's Fellaini, though. Top right. Oh, he's hit the post. <sighs> Unlucky for Fellaini there. Could have been his seventh goal. Great chest down. Nice bit of control. Smashes it onto the outside of the post. Unlucky, son. Oh, my God. I've got to do some defending. Oh, look at that. It's just easy. Oh, no, I've lost it. No, 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 no. They're going to go down the right wing again. Oh, no, they're going to go down the left. Okay, that's fine. I can deal with that. Oh, okay, I can't. I missed the slide tackle. Pull out. Go, 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 go. Pressure team. Oh, my God, I bumped into my own players. <laughs> I hate doing that, man. I just bump into myself all the time. So you're going to blow his whistle. There we go, guys. That's the end of the first half. And uh, what a half. I was absolutely all over them there. I'm surprised I wasn't tuning it up. But there we go. Let's get on to the second half now. Good play, Fellaini. Oh, he's done him. He's done, Figueroa. He's going through to Wilshere. Over the top for Podolski. It's easy goal. Surely, there we go. Podolski gets his reward. Absolute sick player. Sick break with Arsenal. And that is a sickening scoreline. 2-0 away from home. There we go. Look at that. Bit sweaty, but who gives a shit? I need those three points. Give me them three points. Oh, that's good play. Here's Fellaini. Oh, no. They're forcing me out wide. Cross out to the back. Go on, volley that. Oh, Teta, you could have done so much more with that. If you used your right foot, maybe. Let's uh, let's make some substitutions now. I think my players are getting a little bit tired. I can sense it. You're going to take it or what? 
Let's get it out to the wing. Oh, what is that? Come on, I was aiming for Walcott. That's so poor, that. It's right, we've got it back. Oh, there we go. They are fouling me to shit right now. Oh, that's a good through pass. Easy goal, surely. Go on. Yes. Just dropped underneath the bar there. Can we make it four? Come on, Walcott out on the wing. Over top for Podolski. Oh my god, that's a good pass. Left foot, bang. Oh my god. Wow. 4 0. Look at this. Great control. Double touch, bang. See you later, Wigan. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is what you call a comfortable win. 4 0 to the mighty Arsenal. Podolski getting two. Jovino and Oxlade Chamberlain getting the others. Drew, left foot. Wow, that wasn't too bad. That is where he's best, I guess. It's one touch, shoots. He's got a great, powerful shot. Go on, Giroud, over the top. Good control, over the top. Oh, my God, I tried lobbing the keeper. That's probably the wrong decision there. Or was it? I'll probably watch that back and go, no, nah, it was, it was all right to do that because I, I didn't have much space and the keeper was closing in on me. I wanted to lift it over the top, but it wasn't too bad. Let's see if we can get another chance at goal here. Here goes Will Shea's great at dribbling on this, by the way. Oh, no, it's going to go for a goal kick. God damn it. Matt, defend well this time. Good pass. No, early. <laughs> that was way too early to slide in. I almost got it, but I didn't. But we can break now. Counter-attack time. Oh, Diaby's making a run out of everyone. Go, Diaby. No, he got ahead to it. Oh, okay, we'll take that rebound. That's good. Into Giroud. No, I just tried to run past the defence there. Didn't really work. There we go. We've got the ball back with Kishelny. Let's just get it one more time before half time. Come on. Inside. Why are you blowing your whistle? Why are you blowing your whistle there? I have no oh, I hate that. Anyway, let's move on to the second half. I'm actually going to take Giroud off and move Podolski up front again just to see if I really am. If I really do feel that, you know, Podolski is the just is the only one I can use up front for now because Giroud is just awful. Let's, let's take him off. We'll put on um, Kazola again. And let's see how this half pans out. See if I get more chances. And most importantly, see if I score. Right, attacking. Let's go. Ultra attacking. Anyone going to make me some runs? We'll get Kazola on the run here on his own. We're going to knock that out to Gibbs. Good first touch, please. Thank you. Let's get a cross in here. Oh, my God. That's good. Oh, my God. What a cross and what a header from Walcott. That is the most unlikeliest of goals. Wow. Walcott. What can I say? I doubted you. You want to play as a striker in real life. You keep doing things like this. You can be my striker any day. Look at that. Beautiful goal. 1-0, guys. I left it late, but we got it. Oh, that's a good block. There we go, Jovino. Nice one, son. Into Kazola. Up to Podolski. It's a good play. Oh, my God. That stupid tackle. It's so automated and robotic. It's annoying. But we've got it back again here. Look, they just steamroll you and nick the ball. Can I do the same? There we go. Oh, 90 minutes in. There we go, guys. That was a freaking annoying game. Just every time I went on the attack, tackled. <laughs> but we got the points. That's the main thing. We won 1-0. Gibbs got man of the match. Well deserved again. Nice job, Gibbs. And for this game, we are going to change up the squad a little bit because I think some players are tired. But Malin will give him a rest. We'll put Murta Saka on. He can deal with Barr and Cissé up front, the big jumpers. Gibbs, we're going to give a rest as well. We'll put Andre Santos on. Uh, I like Will Shen Diaby. I'm going to keep them on for now. Kazola, I'm going to move into the middle and put Fellaini. No, we'll keep Fellaini in the middle. We'll take Kazola off and we'll put on Walcott again. Oh, no, it's poor. Oh, my God. They absolutely split me open there. Kabai is just insane on this game. I I'm going to have to buy him, you know, just so I don't have to come up against him. Look at this pass. I don't know who it was. I think it was Ferguson. <sighs> That is a beautiful goal. I'm not going to deny it. Great move. 1-0 down, guys. It's not good. Good pass. Fellaini, please turn in. No. Oh, we got a free kick. That's a good position to get a free kick. Wow, look at this. Right. No one other than Podolski is going to take this. Here we go. Bit of power on it. Are you kidding me? Oh, man. Okay. Do another cross. Well, that's a good cross. Mertesaka. Go on. Oh, off the line. Oh, man. Jeez, this is difficult to break down their defence. This is why they're third in the league, you know. It's difficult to score against. And they score really good goals against you, you know. It's good. Okay, we kept it at least. Over to Jovino. Come on. Good cross, come on. Oh, that's good. 
Oh, come on. Crawl isn't freaking God, is he? Oh, all right, let's cross this one in again. That's good. Are you serious? They just... <laughs> I can't do anything. Okay, let's make some substitutions. Clearly, my formation just is not working. So that is what you do when you are struggling. Let's switch to a 4-3-3. I feel like that will do me some good. We'll go for just the, the regular 4-3-3. We will put Wilshire and DRB and Fellaini in midfield. Walcott is exactly perfectly in position there. Swap those two around as well. Let's give this a go. Just see if it's a bit more direct and give me more chances to uh, score on goal. I can't lose this game. I cannot drop points. What? What's that? Are you shitting me, man? What was that? Are you... Oh, Tim Krull. The goalkeepers are too good in this game. They are. I'm sorry. Santos. Out to Diaby. Finesse shot. I'm just running, sucking my thumb. Run, 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 run. And... Play the violin. Oh, sorry. Did I just ruin it for you, Newcastle? <laughs> wow. What a finish as well. In 90th minute, Diaby, out of all the players, with a great, great finesse shot. I think the ref's going to blow his whistle as soon as I touch the ball, so I don't think I've got a chance of getting another another goal. Let's see if we can keep him up here. Come on, please make a mistake. Come on. Come on. There must be a few minutes. Come on. Out of all the times, you're going to give extra time, not... Do it now, come on. Come on. Hoof it up. Nah, okay, well, I will take that point. That was that was a proper stressful game. At the moment, most teams have played 20. A few have played 19 games. I don't know really what to think about that. 11 wins, 4 draws, 5 losses. It couldn't. It could be better, but it could be a lot worse. So I'm hoping I'm going to finish in the top 3. That would be my target, and uh, I'm not far off the you know second spot there. 43 points, you know, I'm not too far away from that. So um, that's not too unrealistic. Just two more wins, and Man United need to lose two, and then technically I'm level with them. So um, I'm happy with that. It's not too bad. Um, I might as well go ahead and show you the player statistics as well while we're here. So top scorers, we have Welbeck and Rooney. Look at that. Man United are certainly scoring goals. Um, but as you can see, my top scorer is Podolski with six. Um, which really isn't too great. He scored quite a few in competitions as well. Assists wise, Walcott is up there, which is surprising. And Podolsky's got five as well. So that is the, uh, the update on statistics and stuff. But this episode, like I said, is going to be the transfer window. So I want to bring in some players. So let's go ahead and advance. So we're into the transfer window. We do have a game on the first day. So I'll play that one for you live. But um, I want to bring in a striker. So Juventus want to buy him for 11 million. I really like Chesney. He made one mistake in the whole of the first part of the season, so I'm actually going to reject that. I don't want to sell him. Absolutely no need to sell a goalkeeper at this point. It's not like he's rubbish. Walcott. Ah! Ah! Okay, this is a player that I'm technically wanting to get rid of because he's just all pace. Not the best in terms of passing it around. Um, what I will do is I will do a counter offer and I will ask for 12.5. It's very easy to bring in another winger, I reckon. So let's go ahead and do that. I don't think they're going to pay that. I, I very much doubt they will pay that. Let's have a look at my youth squad monthly reports. So Richie Hall, oh yeah, um, Stephen Davis is 15 now. We've got a technically gifted player, potential 78 to 84, which isn't too bad. And we've got a playmaker as well, potential 75 to 85, which isn't too bad. Not too shabby if I say so myself. So are we into, yes, we are into the transfer, league, uh, transfer window now. And um, Squalacci is coming back to play us. Chelsea target Falcao, ouch, and uh, ben Benzema. Fans ang angle for England native Cole. <laughs> oh. Cole has captured the hearts of his supporters at Chelsea and there is no doubt that the fans of England, of Arsenal, sorry, are pining for another player from England, ouch. I need to play football. As I've said before, let me leave the club in this window, please. Sure. Okay, that's fair enough. So, um, that was always going to happen, really, wasn't it? So, R. Shavin is going. Where are you, R. Shavin? How much are you even worth, R. Shavin? 4.7 million. Not too bad. Let's um, add to transfer list like that. Simple as that. Um, and Drood, I'm probably going to do like a straight swap. So let's let's uh, go to my shortlist. I've got a few strikers that you guys wanted me to take a look at. So I asked in the comments before. Lots of people said Lewandowski. 
and uh, lots of people said Kershikov as well because he's quite old um, but really cheap for what you get and he's got absolutely fantastic stats um, all his like shooting stats are very high his finishing is 86 long shots 84 penalties 82 shot power 89 um, finishing is 86 like I said so that is very high we've got Denver Barr as well very popular amongst you guys um, so Denver Barr is someone I definitely like to bring into the club very powerful strong player and uh, will kind of suit my play, I reckon. But Lewandowski, I think, is is the hot favourite for me. Um, just generally a very good player. If you look at the, these stats here, good sprint speed for quite a tall player. Uh, good attacking positioning as well. Good ball control mainly. That's always very important. I want to look at his short passing. 78, not too bad. 81 shot power. Um, overall, this guy is very, very good. High attack work rate and high defensive. Can play as a striker and a centre forward. Um, my main issue is I do have Podolski, so I'm not really looking for a replacement striker. I'm just looking for someone who can come on as, as almost like a sub. And I think Kershikov would fit that bill, to be honest. He's only 30, so he's still got a few years. I think we're going to go for Kershikov, you know. I think we'll make him a straight offer. So let's uh, approach Zenit to buy. My chief executive is saying 7.4 to 8.6, which I think is a little bit, a little bit too much. I think I might just go for... Let's, let's go and add our Shavin. He'll want to go to Zenit, won't he? Let's add our Shavin, wherever he is. There he is, our Shavin. He's very unhappy. So we'll, we'll go for our Shavin and 3 million, maybe. That should, that should do it. I think that's a good deal, you know. Very good player. Someone I can use on the, um, the odd match. It doesn't have to be like my first team striker. So I think for now, that is pretty neat. And uh, I think it's between Dem Demabar and Lewandowski next time. Maybe I could do a Giroud, like a swap with Giroud. Um, tell you what, let's see what kind of offers we get back from Real Madrid, for example, uh, who inquired about Theo Walcott. And we'll see if they accept that deal for Kershikov, because then I think I'm all right. Um, then I might go for a, for a defender. I'm not sure. So let's go ahead and play this match against Southampton. Good defending Gibbs. Right in the right place at the right time. That's what you like to see from your uh, your left back. Who, by the way, I do I do like Gibbs. I'm just thinking of bringing in Marcelo. Um, we'll look at doing that another time. Maybe here we go. We're on the break. Up to Arteta. Perfect play. Cut inside here. Here we go. Let's have a shot. Bang. Oh, blocked. Good block though. Good defending from Southampton there. Right. Come on, Cazorla. Let's get a good cross in here for Giroud. Oh, that was awful. That was not a good cross by me. Too much power on it there. And they're on the counter attack. Uh oh, this ain't good. Show him down the left. That's good. Oh no, they've got it back straight away. And that is comfortably mine there. Knock that back to Chesney and let's restart the attack. Oh, Fellaini. Go, 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 son. Up to Giroud. I think he stayed on side. Please stay on side. Yes, this is good. This is good. This is good. I'm going to have to square this one. DRB. Go on, hoof it. Bang. Oh, are you kidding me? I thought that went in. Oh, DRB. Honestly, Podolski would have scored that. <laughs> Oh, what a finish. What a absolute beast of a finish. Oh, I've got a dilemma on my hands now. Look, to be honest, regardless of how many goals he scores, I still don't like using him. Right, there we go. That is the end of the first half. Pretty uh, pretty eventful. Um, I'm happy to be 1-0 up because they haven't really had any chances on my goal. So I think rightly so I'm 1-0 up. And that is that was a really nice finish, that. I'm actually happy with Giroud for once. I just can't I just can't see myself enjoying playing with him every single season. So I think I'm making the right decision, you know. I am very wary of you know getting rid of players, but I think I'll keep Giroud, just uh use him as a, a super sub sometimes, even though he's not really super, you know. God, this is good play. Look at this. Oh my god. Fellaini. How many goals has he scored for me now? Wow, that was an absolute cracker. And there we go, 2 0. This could be a comfortable victory. I want to go for maybe a 3 0. But let's have a look at this. That's great play from Diaby and Fellaini. My two massive midfielders came off the bar again. All right, well, there we go. 2-0. Let's keep pressing on. Good one, Gibbs. Oh, God. Jesus, that was a good pass. But now we're on the counter-attack. Go on, Diaby. Go, Kazula. Go, 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 go. No, tackle in the last second. Oh, I've got it back. That's good. Out to the wing for, uh, for Chamberlain. He's come out to the right. Cut inside. Oh, my God. Where am I going to go? Giroud. Go on, smash it. Go on, Flaney. Ah, it's just... Oh, that was actually very close. Oh, Chamberlain's won that in midfield. Oh, look at this. Brute pace of Oxlade Chamberlain, who gets to 85 in this career mode, by the way. Passes it over to Podolski. Oh, 
Cazorla with the goal. <laughs> wow, there you go. 3-0, guys, on 90th minute in the 90th minute. Well deserved. You know, I've played well this game. The whistle has gone. The ref has blown the whistle. 3-0, three points. Very fitting there. Drood got man of the match, and Kashalny was up close. Very good match. Happy with that. That's three points. Let's see if we get anything back from uh, from all the emails and the clubs that have been interested in some of my players. Gaffer, I've come to you today to discuss my wages. I work hard in training, and for the team, I feel I should be paid a little bit more. Ah. That's, um... Well, he's taking a bit of a bit of liberty there. <laughs> That's all right. I don't mind because Trevino is a very good player and he's definitely part of my future plans. He's on 50k a week, so understandably wants a little bit more. Uh, let's go ahead and offer him 60. Um, let's see what he says. Right, Real Madrid RE transfer offer. Oh, there we go. I am now the master negotiator. So Real Madrid have decided that 12.5 is okay. Transfer unacceptable. They want 6.3. And we'll be... Uh, oh, hang on. We cannot go ahead with this deal because even though we're interested in the play offered, we do not believe that the cash sum is enough. If you increase the cash sum to 6.3, we'll be willing to let Alexandra Kershikov go. So they want... They want Arshavin and 6.3. That's not fair. Arshavin's worth... How much was he worth? Let's have a look. I'm sure he was worth 4. Arshavin, please be worth four. Arshavin is worth 4.7 million. So basically they want, that's a lot of money they want for Kershikov. Um, we'll go back with five. We'll go back with five. Seeing as we've sold Walcott, that frees up a bit of money. So let's see what they say about that. I think that's a fair enough deal, you know? I really do. Because that, five plus 4.7 is 9.7 million. So surely that's enough to uh, persuade them but um, anyway, let's advance now.